Hi again, everybody. I'm Dan Hort, and our continuing coverage of Bearcats training camp continues now with offensive coordinator Eddie Grand. You've got Gunnar Keel back. You've got his top seven receivers back. You got three of the top four running backs back. What does that experience mean to you as the offensive coordinator? Well, as you come out in the first two days, you know you're really you're, you're trying not to having to teach plays. You're not having to understand the. Uh, as we go out into a huddle and, and how everything just operates from the beginning to the end. Right now, we're really teaching fundamentals and technique. And for, for us, it's huge, uh, whether it be the offensive line, any position. It starts in your stance. It starts with your first step. And if you can do those things right on offense, then you really, at the end of the day, taking care of the little things and the details, you win games. Gunner did a lot of good things in his first year as the Bearcats starting quarterback. Where would you like to see improvement this year? This year, it would be don't get greedy. When we, we've got a lot of alerts in, in, in our system, and, and we've got to make sure if it's not there, let's check that thing down or run it. That's fine. Get down, protect yourself. But I'd like to see our backs catch the ball a little bit more this year. Coach Tupperville said the other day that one of the things he'll be stressing at Camp Higher Ground is a physical running game in hopes of taking more time off the clock, keeping the defense off the field a little bit. Absolutely. I think any time, uh, you know, in, in championship football, you win championships running the ball, playing great defense, playing great special teams. That's how I grew up, too. You can do it in a spread offense, too. The spread offenses do run the ball. And uh, we do. We've got to run the ball. We had, uh, you know, one of our plays last year, you know, if you're over, you know, five, six yards a carry, you know, you probably should call it more. And, uh, you know, and, and, and those are the things that we've got to do. We've got a lot of good running backs. Our offensive line is going to be physical. That's one thing we stressed during the spring. I mean, that was a huge emphasis for us, and it's carried right on here from, from yesterday, and it's going to be like that until the end of this season. Eddie, I've been saying the wide receiver core is like Noah's Ark. You've got two of everything. You've been a part of some great college football teams. Have you ever had a wide receiving unit this deep with so many guys that could do so many different things? You know, the uh, two teams. One at Florida. I mean, at uh, Auburn. When when we went undefeated, we had a we had an unbelievable core out there, and it kind of reminds me of that group. They were tall, lanky. They were fast. They were physical, and kind of reminds me of that group. And then the Florida State team in 2012. But uh, I think as a full group, though, with the speed and and athletic ability. I, I don't know if I have. It, it's really uh, I, I compare it more to that Auburn team. But they're fun. They're fun to watch. They're fun to be around. But it's like Coach said yesterday. This is a, a truism of all truisms. If we're able to run the ball, men, our passing game will be incredible. And that, if we can run the ball, people, and you can, you can do that, then they're going to have to stack that box. Now you get your one-on-one -on -one matchups. And to me, I don't think uh, I think that's where we want to be. How competitive are those guys with each other? And is it hard to keep them all happy? Well, our, our you know, our one of our core values is is being selfless. Uh, it's trust. Uh, it's being selfless, it's having unity, and it's toughness. Those are our four core values as an offense. And so if you can't be selfless and you can't be humble and it's not team first, then you won't play here. Uh, you just can't do it. Uh, I've been a part of championship teams where there have been a lot of great guys. It's not about the touches. This is where these young men don't understand. It's not about the touches. It's about your productivity. If you get the ball three times and you do something right with it, those NFL scouts will see it. It's about the production. At the end of the day, it's about winning. That's it, period, the end, win. And, and I've told them, if you don't want that, then you don't need to be in this offense. Expectations are high for the team in general and for the offense in particular. I think a lot of folks expect Cincinnati to rank among the national leaders in points scored. Is there some pressure on the team to live up to that? I don't think so. You know, just like you said, Coach Tubble said he wants time of possession. So if you have time of possession, then you're probably not. It's going to be hard to score, you know, a thousand points. We got to score enough points to win the game. Statistics, forget statistics. We got to score. When we're supposed to score, we got to be able to score. We got to be more consistent. That's what we have to be on offense. If we become more consistent, then you know what? We might have a lot of points throughout the year. But one week we'd score 45, the next week we'd score 10. That's bad football. So we've got to get better, have more of a mentality and that toughness of, of being more consistent. And, and then I think everything will take care of itself. Always a pleasure to catch up. Thanks for the time. Absolutely. Go Bearcats. Offensive coordinator Eddie Grant. I'm Dan Horde. Bearcats TV.